Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of JB Outdoors. Today I'm going to be starting my truck camper build on my 2021 Ford F-150. So let's get to it. So as you guys can see, I have a five and a half foot bed here to work with. So I'm going to uh, build a platform here in the back, building this based off of a queen size mattress. Uh, my wife and I will be camping out of this together. So uh, my plan is to construct a platform and get up over the wheel wells. And I will post a little picture uh, right about here that you can see how the framework was on my 2015 Ford F-250 that I uh, previously sold and bought this truck. So this time I'll be getting up over the wheel wells a little bit higher. This truck has a little bit different setup than my Super Duty did. So um, I'll show you the lumber that I bought. So the lumber that I have to be working with today, I'm going to be using two by 10 by eight foot long. Uh, I have two by three by eights. And the only reason I went with two by three by eights opposed to a two by four is the price difference. I have these, the two by threes will be my support across the top that will tie everything together and then I have four by eight sheets of plutonium plywood. So in addition to the plywood, the two by tens and the two by threes, I have one by fours. This is all number two yellow pine uh, lumber just based off of price. This isn't anything that has to be super pretty because it's framework. It's going to be covered up by the finished product. So. Uh, the, I will explain more of what all this or how all this is going to go, but again, here's the picture that I have from my 2015 F-250 as a general idea of how this is going to be constructed. So let's get started. Safety first, guys. We are not going to the hospital today, okay? So as you guys just saw, I ripped my cutoffs of my 2x10. I'm going to use that up here. There's basically uh, some structural integrity. So this will this will keep the whole platform or any of the upright system that holds all the weight. This is going to keep everything from twisting and doing weird stuff while we're driving. So um, I had to rip some of it off because of the height of the rib truck. So now that I have these together and cut down to height, this is flush here. So I'm just going to mark this where the center is and then I'm going to assemble this out of the truck. And this is all going to get screwed together. This is the left one, this is the right one. So that's it. Um, I'm going to do that and then we're going to put the drawer slide on. I had planned on uh, incorporating that one by four for uh, basically a drawer slide so the weight of the drawer isn't going to be sliding on my the bed of my truck at all. This bed doesn't have any spray in bed liner or anything yet. There's plans to in the future but right now we're not, we're not going there so let's do it. Got some drawer slides built up. 
Uh, Brad nailed on some nailers, so now to be able to put these right onto the actual bed of the truck underneath, and then have something to screw into the main frame core. So I'm gonna pre-drill some holes, get these things installed, and then we'll start putting on our uh, top slats. So I've got all my slats measured out and cut. So now, moment of truth, we get to see if they all fit. When I'm up here, Our support's all done now i just gotta deck it i was gonna show you guys this this is what i basically base this off of so we put the drawer slides in earlier i'm gonna build a drawer for that and the drawer is gonna house these totes so everything was kind of built around these totes we had these in our last truck camping setup and they were kind of everywhere and we had this weird pole stick to pull everything out so this time we'll be able to pull the whole drawer out and then we'll be able to use these totes um, with that being said I have more room here on the on each side so I'll be able to put our chairs camping table stuff like that it's gonna go down the sides this is really cool I really think I might do a little bit of support here but it's pretty solid you know there's it's really solid on each side so that with the real plywood is gonna really firm everything up so I have a little bit of work to do on the front there's uh, tie hooks that I think I'm just going to take out of the bed because those aren't going to be used now. So I'll take those out and then that'll alleviate some of the stress on that front board. I'm taking a gamble doing it this way, but uh, I'm trying to do it as clean as possible. And this stuff is 15, 30 seconds real plywood. It's called plitanium, whatever, whatever that means. $52.99 a sheet. So four by eight sheet, $52.99. So I don't really like gambling on that, but we'll see. I'm kind of worried about having to get it through the opening of the cap. But I'm hoping I can kind of fish it around. If not, I'm gonna half to half the sheet, depending on where, where it lies in the truck. The truck's actually almost as wide as it is long. It's kind of funny. Yeah, for those of you wondering, no, I don't have a table saw. No, I don't have help. So, we got it. Well, I cut the piece in half again. So, that's okay. There'll be a seam down the, right down the center. Might need to shave a little bit off anyway. See, if I would've gotten it in there, then it wouldn't have worked out anyway so a little spot I might notch out with my my uh, jigsaw so we'll see how that turns out nice that's pretty sweet 
I mean, I would have liked there not to be a seam there, but that's okay. So that won't be bad. There's obviously a seam there in the middle, but there's plenty of screw points that everything can tighten up and fit perfectly. My last piece is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to take and rip uh, lengthwise again, so I'm hoping I can at least get that smaller piece to fit in there. And then I'll have to notch out these corners. So let's see how bad I can screw that up. Well, I've got my last piece cut, notched out. This one should fit in. Nice. So there's our deck. Deck, drawer slides, all that's technically done. Just gotta screw it down. I think I'm gonna sand this off first and make it kind of nicer. Kind of mad at myself if I had to do it again. I cut the section with the panel upside down and I didn't see this crack right here. You guys can see that. So that is what it is, I suppose. But at least it's all in one piece. So we're all set. Today I'm going to be putting in the drawer system, so I'm going to be putting in three drawers, uh, one big one here in the center, the whole length of the bed, and uh, one on either side of the center. So let's get started. So today I'm working with a leftover sheeting that I had from my uh, deck that I built on the truck camping setup. So we're going to use whatever we can for the actual base, the whole bottom of the drawer is going to be this plywood, and then I have uh, one by sixes for the outside structure that we're just going to do something really simple pre-drill holes and run screws up into the one by sixes with a little bit of wood glue involved so uh, let's take some measurements and get started here I'll just ensure the fit make sure the piece fits inside the slides all the way through and through and make sure it's nice and smooth Next I have to pre-drill holes and this one board has such a twist in it or a bend in it so I'm going to have to drill a couple holes, put a couple screws in and then work it, at, work it straight as I go. No big deal, we'll make it happen. That's awesome. Got a little twist to it, but I think some weight inside that drawer would probably take it out of there. So let's see, uh, I want to show you guys what I basically based this whole drawer system off of. So my wife and I bought these nice totes that held all of our camping stuff. Like this one has our all of our little rechargeable fans, uh, lanterns, little Bluetooth speakers, some paracord, stuff like that. So we have a couple more of these. Can I base this off of the dimension of this? So that fits inside of there. Everything fits. That is so awesome. I love it when stuff works out the way you planned it. So this will be able to pull all the way out. Might do something about that. Maybe put a stop in up top, but you can pull it all the way out, it won't go anywhere.
The next two drawers I built quickly with what I had left over from my decking and the main drawer. I used plywood, but I had to cut it into sections, but that's okay. They were, majority of them were four foot sections, but I wanted to utilize the whole length of the bed for these skinnier drawers. These skinnier drawers will be for our camping chairs. We have a camping table that rolls up into a camping chair size bag. It's really neat. And then also fishing tackle and, and maybe even a shorter ultralight fishing pole will fit inside one of them. added this extension what's neat about this extension is it folds up so it's actually a beauty plate for my drawers and then it also folds up to be a support for my mattress so I can now get in this and comfortably stretch out and I have a tent that goes over the back of the cap and the tailgate that will have screened in windows with privacy windows too. So this is still a work in progress, but I wanted to show you guys what I did here. I have some footage of, of installing this and everything. Today I'm working on the drawers. I noticed when I reached in to grab these drawers, it's kind of a harsh, uh, it's just sanded number two pine. So. I'm going to be routering these with a half inch round over bit with my router. So let's get to that. <laughs>
the platform and the extension was all carpeted. Everything was just stapled down. It was just a six by eight area rug that was more or less just a commercial grade, high traffic area rug that I bought from Lowe's Home Improvement Store. This turned out so well, I just took the extension off, stapled and glued with uh, Super 77. So that was that turned out really well. I was super happy with that and it's so clean. Now with the extension that folds down, everything looks so nice. With this truck being brand new, I wanted everything to just turn out so clean and so nice. I didn't want it to be a blotched together kind of build. So this was so awesome, it turned out so well. So I'm getting ready to put the queen size mattress in. I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit before I uh, did that. I put the carpet on at one of my work facilities because it's been like in the 20s and 30s out. So I did use a, it's called Super 77 adhesive, um, like a spray adhesive comes out of a spray can. Uh, so I needed it to be warm and uh, obviously for what I do, it's extremely loud in our facility. So I just did uh, some video clips with no audio doing that. So I used uh, I used the same carpet for, for each side. It was a six by eight sheet from Lowe's Home Improvement Store. And I just had some remnants of that. So I put it around the actual supports just to kind of dress it up nice. It looks so clean. So we're getting ready to put the, the mattress in. Let's do it. Okay with it. I know you were afraid of busting the. It works. Window. Cool. I mean, that's not pushing on the back window. Then I think we've got a plan. Yeah. Sweet. Seals. The whole window's got a seal around it. That's nice. And then it's got a whole seal along the bottom of here. So. so it shouldn't. We should just leave it in there, test it, and make sure yeah. it's dry. Okay, so now that we have the mattress in, everything else is done. I've got the drawers pretty much set up. So now, first things first, right inside of this drawer is the tent that goes over the back of this. So the 
back window is going to end up being down uh, close to level. So uh, have never put this on before. I did buy this used from my younger brother that used to have a similar truck camping set up for a five and a half foot truck bed. So let's get this thing put on. Never done it before, so you can see me struggle through time lapse. Let's go with that. Okay guys, so this is a key piece to the puzzle here. This tent that goes over the back of the truck. Um, it's pretty windy today, so it's a good test before we actually have to use it. There's still some adjustments that have to be made, but for my first time doing this, I guess I have it fairly down. I guess I didn't struggle too bad. So the biggest thing is, is we have these bungee cords that are kind of interwoven into the hole set up here so you can see it's stitched there so i just have those hooked down on one of the running board mounts and this one hooked to the wheel itself and that goes all the way through this bottom piece so this is kind of neat because on the back of this you know, well i can do this with one hand it has an inner and an outer And you can tie the inner up with this tie right here and then you have a screen so if it's nice out you can tie it all up the only thing that i foresee might be an issue is the amount of room to get in so i'll set this camera up on a tripod and see how well i can get into this thing but so far i think this is really cool remy's hanging out inside she loves this truck, cut, truck bed camper. She loved our last one that we did. So on the inside, it is uh, fairly tidied up. So I see down here in the corners, because this thing is just bungeed around the outside of the bed. So I can, we'll have to put something down in between there if it's cold or if it's windy, because that's gonna be a easy access point for a lot of air to come up through as well as in between this uh, tailgate and the actual bed. So see, that's a pretty decent gap right there. We'll have to figure something out with that. There are more grommets here where we could probably bungee down to something, but it's not really like fit and contoured to the bed being open, so. Pretty neat though, first time going on this truck. definitely not much room to play climbing in but it's kind of neat because as far as like the edge of the bed as you can see there's still some tailgate left so I actually think I have a an infrared heater that I'm gonna put right here that is safe around fabric and stuff so it's more or less um, it's a big unit. It's actually called an Eden Pure, if any of you are familiar with that. So we'll be able to put that right there. We'll be able to put our shoes right here. Um, plenty of room to put our shoes. But here is a little tour of the inside of the truck. Remy loves it. In my Super Duty that I had before, I had enough room to just about sit up and I, I don't quite have enough room inside of this now. So we have pretty much just enough room to kind of comfortably sit up somewhat. 
I know. I love you too. But it's nice with that uh, truck tent that it's cutting any of the wind, which is what it's meant to do. Now I can hopefully camp back here. So we have a trip coming up. We're going to get to use it for the first time, right? But not you. You're not going to come with, huh? I know. I know. So even with this tent on, we'll be able to reach in. And this is the main drawer. I have drawers on either side of this as well. I'll be able to pull this out. I've got the amenities up front. I call this the first aid section. So I actually do have a first aid kit, toilet paper, uh, mosquito defense, sunblock, all that kind of stuff. So that's right at the ready, very first thing to grab. Pull out just a little bit further. The next tote in would be our kitchen type stuff. So we have dishes and, and cooking stuff like that. Come out even further. This next tote is all of our fans, Bluetooth speakers, lanterns, stuff like that. Once, usually once we get that out, it's out and we don't have to ex access that any further. And then the next thing, even further in, uh, I'm not gonna pull the drawer any further out, but I have a uh, Coleman cooker. So it's two burner cooker. And then I have the grate to my tripod. And then this next little tote is spices. Uh, looks like peanut butter to go and stuff like that. So that's it, that's that main drawer. And shove that bag right back all the way forward. Now I've got, I've also got these side drawers. These side drawers don't really house too much. Um, I do have in this black bag right behind the tent bag is a fold up table. That is a really cool, it's really nice, especially when you end up somewhere that doesn't have a, any kind of picnic table or anything like that. And then this, this side drawer. This has camping chairs and the tripod. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to make this short video of using or installing this truck tent on my, on my truck bed. I've been working a lot on the platform for the mattress and the drawer system for this setup. So I will do a new uh, full in-depth truck camper tour of this. Uh, probably when we actually go on our first trip will be one of those videos. So stay tuned for that. And again, thanks everyone for watching. I'm Justin with JB Outdoors. Remember to spend more time outdoors. And I'll see you guys in the next video.